on today's episode of All Work No Play. Oh no! Game. You left me behind and I stuck! Just get okay. in here! <laughs> yes! Oh! Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No! Oh, yeah! I thought they- <laughs> No! Coming up. All Work No Play. Everybody, welcome to another episode of All Work No Play. What? I'm Sam Regal, and I'm Liam O'Brien. What episode is this? Is this seven? Is this 17, six? Seventeen. I think it's around seventeen. Oh my god, we've been doing this a while. This is amazing. This is we're approaching more episodes of this version of the show than the podcast. Oh my god, this show is more regular than a bowel movement. We do this oh, every week. Boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, yeah. What do we got here? First oh, this thing. is a gimlet. Look up. I've I, never had a gimlet. I don't in think my you've life. had this. I requested this special because mm-hmm. I like it. This is a proper gin gimlet. Okay. It's got gin. Don't do gin. It's got lime. Yeah. It's got a cucumber. Cucumber. Just for looks. Oh. Dang. Well, okay. That is a sweet gimlet. It needs a. I, I, no yeah. criticism. Thank you for making it, Natasha. It's really good for a first attempt. Mm. It's a little sweet. I don't know. I have don't nothing to compare her. it to. <laughs> but it's really good. Natasha Sam says, you made it too sweet. Oh, don't tell her that. Now she's going to hate me. Speaking of Natasha. Yes. We have fun on this show. We have we have uh, some friends that we always name drop. Yeah. Like Laura Bailey. Hold for sound effect. Like Travis Willingham. Lame sound effect. <laughs> we don't have sound effects for many of our friends, and maybe we should have them. Well, eventually, this this whole show will just be sound effects. <laughs> yeah, <for> sound effects. <laughs> yes, it'll be like a morning ra- morning zoo yeah. radio show. Come to July. No. Um, but like Marisha could have her own sound effect every time we say Marisha Ray, which we do on this show a lot. Yeah. What would it be though? What in enca- what sound encapsulates Tread Marisha? Carefully. Uh, sure, of course. She's standing twelve feet to my um, left. What about a series of like roundhouse kicks to a? I was thinking a slab of meat. Like, I was. <laughs> that's so funny. I was thinking the sound of throwing stars impacting a wall or something. Why not both? Yeah. Um, but then Natasha, we talk about her all the time. Mm-hmm. Amazing producer, right? Fabulous person, adequate drink maker. She could have her own sound mm-hmm. as well. I don't know what that would be. She's maybe it's just your voice going too sweet. <laughs> we'll record it, we'll process it, and too sweet. And there it was. Oh, <laughs> just that fast. Yeah. So you know, send send your ideas for more sound effects we can do on the show. To no, please don't. Um. Uh. Anyway, uh, I, that was just a, a thought that occurred to me uh, right before we started airing. We should involve all of our friends. And give them all their own unique sound effects. So by the end of this, we'll release an album that's just sound effects. Speaking of video games, <laughs> this episode is all about video games. <laughs> you're, I know you're chomping at the bit to get into video game talk, so let's do it. Yeah. We're, we're talking about video games today. The fun that we done mm. involves video games. And not the goddamn industry that you and I are a part of. That's no. old hat. Fuck that Who industry. Cares? We don't want to work. Nah, we kind of like it, but it's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about video games in our lives. Yes, the 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 sore thumbs we've gotten. Oh man, we go. Oh man, oh, oh man, <laughs> we go back further than this. We go back to this. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a Atari Get that action. Stick. Just wrestle that stick. We're really doing this. <laughs> this Just is really push happening. that stick until it does what you want it to do. Um, yeah, not that difficult. My my first system was an Atari twenty six hundred. Yeah, yours as well. No, um, oh. I, I have mentioned this before in other places, but my dad, when I was a was wee, an Atari twenty six hundred. When I was a wee tot, was uh, he was Pong. My dad is Pong. <laughs> he's a he's been in publishing his whole life. Uh, he's retired now, but he published uh, uh, an early video game magazine, maybe the first, called Electronic Fun. 
how did I miss this about your dad? Your dad's amazing. Don't know. I didn't. I, I don't really listen to most of what you say. Right. You just smile and think about wine. Mm-hmm. Um, he so it was called Electronic Fun. Didn't last long, but for a year. He was going to trade shows and and checking out the latest game machines, which were all made out of wood, I think, and like stone rivets and stuff. <laughs> sure. Um, I have this early memory of going to my first convention ever when I was five or six, and my dad, who at the time was just like full on like late seventies, early eighties beard, oh, so much and facial the big hair, big glasses, uh, just just such a look. Like I have all these memories of video games. And half the memories are about the games that I played, but half of them are what was around me Mm -hmm. and what the world looked like, smelled like, sounded like when I was playing them. Thick brown carpet. Yeah. Um, So wood paneled walls. Wood uh, station wagons that that had wood paneling on them. No seat belts. No. I remember not not in the back seat anyway. I remember being told to sit at the back of a station wagon once with cousins. Sit back there because that's the safest place to be. No seat belts. No seat belts. But the, the chair belts? in front of you will stop you. That's back like an the, airbag. Not. I wasn't even in the chair. I was in the you know the back area. Oh oh the way the way back. back. Way way back. Oh. Sit at the back of the car because that's the safe place. Liam. Short stop. Liam flies forward, knocks a tooth out. Uh, that happened. Yeah. Oh yep. my god. But I got ice cream. It's a <laughs> worth it. It's a wonder any of us survived. But yes, that time was a magical time. I mean, as we've established on this show before, we're both late twenties. Mm-hmm. So this was when you're talking about the time when we grew up was in the early nineties. Yeah, early nineties. Yeah. Um uh, Clinton had just been sworn in. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, that saxophone. And they had just come out with an Atari twenty six hundred. Um Electronic Fun. Mm-hmm. My dad uh, brings home this black rectangular standalone box. Mm-hmm. It's called a Vectrex. Most people don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Some people do. It's about yay high. It has a handle. You can carry it around. Wait, yay high from table from the to table. here? Not from the floor to it's about there. This that's big. like a seven foot tall thing. There's a handle on it. It's portable gaming. It's a portable like tube television, essentially. Okay. It had uh, sort of like coiled cords out to... Uh, a, a, it wasn't a joystick and it wasn't a control pad. It was like a little... Uh, bar with four buttons. It almost felt like a mini, weak little arcade controller. But did was there a way to move up and down and yeah, left and right? Ga- it was a game. Oh, okay. It was okay. a game. <laughs> I had, there was a football game on it. There oh. were space games on it. There was a licensed Star Trek game on it, I guess. Um, but it was uh, vector graphics, I think is what it said in the box. Okay. So it was like white lines. It was just black and white. Oh. And their, their uh, solution for color were these plastic screens that you would put in and physically, boom, it's green and yellow. Physically place on the television yes, set. Yes, there were little clips at the top and bottom to hold in place. Pow, That's red amazing. and blue. That's the amazing. The future. <laughs> That's actually really cool. It was really cool. I have memories of sitting uh, on just like cross-legged on my hallway floor uh, at age five and six playing um, football game where there were just little X's and squares going boop. I remember what... <laughs> What my parents used to dress like. I remember the smells of my house. It's amazing. Yeah. Video games just take you back to that time. I I did a lot of arcade. I went to the arcade a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and my mom, for my birthday every year, our tradition was I would pick uh, like five friends. Mm-hmm. And she, uh, we would go camping for the night. We would take our bikes and go camping with my dad overnight. Mm-hmm. And then the next morning, my mom would show up in our minivan that had wood panel mm-hmm. siding to it. And she'd drive us straight from camping to the arcade. And she would give us each, which in 1980s dollars must have been a million dollars. She would each, each give us tw- a $20 quarter roll. So six $20 quarter rolls wow. to play. And that would last... Forever, right? That's a lot in 1995. <laughs> um, and arcades, like guys, if you if you go and play on an arcade cabinet out in the wilds these days, you're, there aren't many places where you're doing that. You're doing that maybe at a movie theater, maybe sure, or, or going one of those like, barcades. Barcade. You might be going to some place like what are they called? Like Boomers, it's where they have sort of like. I'm already done, Natasha. This was a great drink. Mm, oh, kind of wow. healthy too. Racing ahead of me. <laughs> I'll take another. Um, but and very like kid zone places mm-hmm. today. But at the back in the day, 
they, there would be kids like mm-hmm. us, but there'd also be sort of like 25 year old leather jacket, greasy, that looks like he's in the strokes of the Ramones, smoking while he yeah. plays. It was such a different atmosphere. Yes, definitely smoke. You yeah. could smoke anywhere mm-hmm. in the mid 90s when we drew, grew and up. And we did. Yes. Um, <laughs> but the arcade had all kinds of cool games. Um, there was. Um, I remember there being, you know, there was different levels of of cost, right? There was the quarter games, Mm -hmm. and then there was the two quarter games, Mm -hmm. and then there was the four quarter games. Do I remember right? Was Top Gun a four quarter game? Was that a thing? That one's out of my experience. You were a little worried coming into this episode going like, what am I going to talk about? I don't know what that is. Uh, Top Gun? I think it was Top Gun, or at least a flying game. Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of Afterburner. Afterburner? Is that a thing? That that was a game. I think it was one where, you, you know, the game's... At the arcade that you had, that you got to sit in, you got mm-hmm. to actually physically sit in. Sure. They always cost more. Yeah. And so most of the time, you can't. You're not going to blow your 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 wad on 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 that. But for my birthday, I Somebody had I them. was flush with cash. Yeah. And so I would go in those in those games, and everyone would gather around and watch to see how far I could get. Do you, Do you like the the uh, Dragon's Lair game? Do you remember playing? that? I remember playing Dragon's Lair, but it was so hard. It's, impossible. It's impossible for a nine-year-old or and something. And it's so fast. Like it, when mm. you die, you start again right away. Yeah. And you die again right away. And then you start again yeah. right away. And then by the by the time, and that was, I feel like that was a dollar game, that was right? A, uh, I remember being. I used to go to this restaurant with my family on the Hudson River between Jersey and Manhattan, called the Binghamton. It was a boat sitting in the water. Welcome and to the Binghamton. It mm, wasn't quite like that. Have hors d'oeuvres over here. Dragon's I, Lair over here. I used to get Shirley Temple's. <laughs> um, but I would sneak away from dinner. Not sneak away, but I'd be bored, and mm-hmm. they just give me, you know, two bucks or something, and I would mm-hmm. go down. And first, I would. Blow Blow those quarters on Dragon's Lair immediately because it was terrible. It was like Twitch memory. Yeah. And you 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 would memorize to a point. I'd last a minute. Mm-hmm. There were so many awesome memories. Uh, and and then uh, I also got a, a Nintendo Entertainment mm-hmm. System, NES, for those who don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, I my, my favorite game for that, if I may... Mm. Was, and I'm going to say it wrong, I think, no, Nobunaga's Ambition. You've talked about... Nobunaga's ambition. I think many times to me. When I was younger, I mispronounced it as Nawabunga's. Nawabunga, <laughs> like Cowabunga. Uh, but it's like uh, it's like you 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 run uh, uh, like a fief, uh, like a like mm-hmm. a an empire. It's an empire building game. Mm-hmm. It was a thinking man's game. I loved that game, and I loved sports games. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I just loved them. I loved Tecmo Bowl. I loved all the RBI baseballs. I mm-hmm. loved all all the sports games. But um, but what what do were you playing sword stuff? I had a different trajectory than you had because I had that thing called the Vectrex. Uh, Vectrex. Then I had the same Atari, which by the uh-huh. way was made to look uh, cutting edge with wood paneling at the time. <laughs> Everything had wood. Uh, and then um, that video game magazine went away, mm-hmm. and no NES was brought home no Sega Master System was brought home so I didn't have any games in the house but my best friend Adam what is a Sega Master System? it was the first Sega machine oh before Genesis yes oh because I only entered the Sega universe at Genesis first was the Master System oh Um, so my friend Adam had an NES and my friend James had the Sega Master System and I would be sleeping over one of their houses every week and so I played all those games. I really like Metroid for the loved NES. Metroid. I love the original Zelda. Fantasy Star for Sega Master System. Are uh, we, is this show, is this episode a bummer for people? Like, because if, if so, some people are watching us talk, uh, geek out about these amazing games yeah. to us. Yep. And I assume half of our audience, our audience, by the way, of 80 people. Um, I assume oh, it's ha- gotten bigger. Yeah. Half of them don't know the games that we're talking about. So and then the other half is realizing that they're super old, like we are. Right. Is this a bummer episode? Should we not talk about this? I don't think that's true. I think that the people who are sort of of our generation are going, yeah, and the and the and the people who are of this generation are laughing at us. <laughs> um, here, I'll I'll help that along. When I I said previously that uh, what I remember most, uh, not most, but a huge portion of it, uh, is what was around me yeah. when I played. So when I played NES. I was in this apartment in Jersey on a second floor of a house, and I remember the the messy living room, and the uh, Adam had all these Japanese robots. 
He had Voltron before people knew what Voltron oh. was, and all these robots that I still don't know what they were. And Adam guy sounds cool. Pretty cool. Then maybe I should do a show with him. Wh- uh, would it be a rapping show? Because he's a rapper now. He's a rapper. He is a rapper. Oh. Um, my friend James, what I remember is going to to his apartment, and we would play Sega for hours into the night. And the the defining element of his bedroom was the Paula Abdul beach towel on the wall right next to the Sega <laughs> Master System. I can see it in my mind's eye. We're talking classic Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. One step forward, two steps back. We come together because opposites, opposites attract. attract. Like you and me, right? Yeah, on yeah. brand. I love her. She was uh, a sex goddess, mm. really. She had an animated cat in one of her she videos. She did, DJ Scat Cat. Yeah. The greatest the greatest of all the animated music video cats, yeah. I, th- I think. There was only one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you would go over and see that was the other cool thing about games back then yeah you could bring your cartridge over to your friend's house Cartridges, cartridge yeah. you had that cartridge you put it in pop it in the NES slap the door mm-hmm. down doesn't work what do you do <laughs> blow on the cartridge still doesn't work <laughs> then if you did this yeah take a little cardboard wedge it in there to press it down I used to do that. You could take a couple uh, playing cards, a couple of baseball cards or something, wedge it in to like press down the cartridge. I didn't do that, but my Vectrex died slowly over the years. And as it was dying, I would take two of the other cartridges and lift it. And the cartridge sticking out of the side of the Vectrex would sit upon mm-hmm. two cartridges and it would work for another couple of years. I had, um, you know, I talked about this on a previous episode. Mm. Uh, I grew up with a lot of cats that peed on things. Mm. One time they peed on all of my Nintendo cartridges. Ah. Um, and miraculously, it still worked. But all of my, for a long time, all of my Nintendo cartridges smelled like whiz. Smelled like And piss. you were afraid of them. So were you afraid of the cartridges? Uh, yeah. And I, I, so yeah, yeah. Every time I would play a game, I had the faint aroma of cat okay. piss. I have a similar story. I might have told this story before. <laughs> you I'm have a sure. similar cat piss story? No, just destruction of video games. Oh. Oh. equipment uh when i was a brand new father and my son was maybe one year old Did and just sort of crawling around your game system no i but i had just gotten the ps2 i think and, and that took discs mm-hmm. and i was just reading i think i was adapting an episode of anime on my laptop sitting sure. on a chair next to the tv and i didn't realize it until it was too late but my little 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 Todd of a son, little toddler of a son, mm-hmm. had gotten his hands on a refrigerator magnet. The professor. The professor was taking a refrigerator magnet and sliding it into the disc slot. And oh no, magnets is that are bad? Death for video oh, games. No. So in slow motion, I was, I just went, but it was too late. It was in, Damn. dead. I think I'd had that machine for a week. <sighs> Kids are the worst. I know, terrible, right? We should, no one should have kids. Mm. They destroy everything and they sop, sop away all your money. Yeah, smash cut to us uh, weeping to dear Theodosia. <laughs> <laughs> They're the greatest. Um, I did not have any consoles all after Atari. So I was just doing computer gaming after that. Oh. I had a Commodore 64. Nice. Um, and would play computer games there. I remember playing games at my cousin's house in upstate new york and that bedroom my cousin's bedroom in upstate new york is my version of ready player one it was i had two, two cousins brothers older teenage brother mm-hmm. who uh taught me about sex stuff and yeah. then and then uh, yeah and then showed my you cousin, some pictures maybe <laughs> <laughs> and then my cousin who was my age and it was like my best friend mm-hmm. in the summers and their bedroom they shared a bedroom in upstate new york and it just had the coolest posters on the wall and boxes of comic books. Uh, I talked D&D with my cousin. We played uh, another tabletop role-playing game called Cyberpunk for one month, I one summer. Heard of that. It was just cyberpunky, you know, like yeah, augmented. It would have to be with oh, a title like that. It was yes. so good. I used to play one of my favorite games of all time is Gauntlet. Yes, um, I remember Gauntlet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would play it on his computer in his room and just I and I I can smell that room and it is such a pure 80s memory for me yeah i can taste it um even though you're born in 1992 but i did atari 2600 nes sega genesis sega dreamcast end the end yeah. the end of my gaming experience until smash cut to now mm. i have a ps4 right i play with my my son 
Keanu, yeah. every once in a while. Do you play games with your kids? I only play one game with my son. We're Which game? Pretty, we're pretty, uh, we don't no, go crazy you don't like the, the screen, video games. screen time. Yeah, we keep screen time limited, and both my kids are voracious readers. They read constantly. Okay. Because of it. That's like a video de- game. We deprive them of video games. But I play Minecraft with my son. Maybe like an oh, hour, hour okay. and a half a week, and he is, he's a, adores it. And, he lo- and, and that's enough it. for him. Yep. I play the Lego games with my... Mm-hmm. I was going to say current son. I don't know why. <laughs> With my current son, I play. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, with my current with son. With your son in this state. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I play all the, like, the Lego Batman, the Lego Marvel superheroes, uh-huh. the Lego DC superheroes, the Lego Avengers. Have you played any where your voice pops out of it? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and also, um, occasionally, 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 I will play with my friends. And I think you and I, we might have even talked about this on the podcast. We didn't, didn't we link up one time and play online, yeah, like some bit. Call of Duty or yeah, something? Yeah, we played a Call of Duty once. That was like, that was, it, it was, was a like long time ago. It was early 2000s at this point. Yeah. But, but speaking of hearing our own voices, yeah. remember that we, we heard Travis's voice. Yeah, multiple. I, I was in there too. Just, yeah. And it's confusing when you're hearing your own voice. Your own voice saying, this way, come on. Yeah. Get down. Yeah. I tried to play Spider Man, uh, the amazing Spider Man, not the current Spider Man game starring right. Yuri Lowenthal, which is amazing. The last one starring you. Name drop. But the one before that, or two before that, I, I was Spider Man. And so I tried to play that with my son. And mm. it was. Very confusing for him because mm. he heard Papa's voice coming out of the screen. Yeah, playing games and getting punched. Yeah, a lot. Was he upset? No, he was just like he was just a little just confused. confused. <laughs> playing games is weird for us because we know so many people who do them now, and I'll often I remember like getting used to that once I started getting mm-hmm. significant work in video games and and watching a, a like fantasy story with this beautiful like blonde long haired hero, and I go, oh, I know that guy. He's Five foot five, totally <laughs> yep. bald. Yep. Sounds great. Yeah, but it's, it takes you out of it a little there's bit. Dissonance. There's dissonance. There's a little bit. Um, what was? Do you remember your first job working on a video game? I think it was either one of the early uh, uh, one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video games that that I did for mm-hmm. my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Right, it's like version. It's like the great Hamlets over the years. Sure, I was years. one of the one great, of the great Donatello. Donatellos. Yeah, <laughs> one of the great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Larry Olivier's was really good, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought I thought a little lay down a little. Yeah, bit. he should have been a Leo. Mm-hmm. But um, I uh, one of those, or I think actually a game that was directed by a friend of the show, Stephanie Shea, name drop. Mm-hmm. She did this game starring me, friend of the show Tara Platt, name drop. Mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe herself <laughs> and sure. maybe one other person sense. but it was like four teenagers who it was like a horror game that was one of my first jobs when I came are out are you here. talking about obscure I am talking about I'm in that as well there you go yeah it obscure was, it was like a Friday the 13th like horror yeah we were school. teenagers I was the jock obviously I was the guy with the with the video camera, camera just to saying hey guys oh let's go God. let's go walk around I can and see the building that we recorded that game it in. was oh pretty my gosh. low production value I don't know what you mean <laughs> I don't know what you mean yeah guys go look up obscure for, for some early Liam and Sam voice yeah. acting that's probably not good it's out there it's on youtube pretty oh, sure wow um i don't remember the name of the first game i worked on i i remember i'd worked on some anime and so with one company they're like well come in and i played uh, some japanese game and it was spies or something and i was just like I, an angry it was felt very metal geary i was like the an enemy on a helicopter going ah hero you think you're gonna defeat me and i'm sure i was crashed i don't remember much about that but the the next game they hired me for there was called seven samurai that's a major movie franchise yeah but this was like a colorful okay. anime inspired it was definitely seven samurai turned into a video game and it was my first experience being a nerdlinger being cast as, hey, I'm the young hero type. Oh. Come on, let's go save the world. The young hero voice yeah. is great, by the way. Hey, 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 I'm Ernest. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. We, there is nothing. There is. This is, this is crazy. How can we do all work, no play? Somebody might have been taking sips of this before we even began. We could go back to the Guinness that we saved from last week. No, wait, that would have been like look, three weeks ago. Look. <gasps> She's got something. You can just bring it right, bring it on, right Natasha. over. 
You could your just camera walk ready. out here. Your camera ready. Get yeah. over here. Get over here. Everyone, play that sound effect. Too what was the sound sweet. effect? So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did hey, it. She's on camera, she's guys. On camera. No, neither camera can see her. It. None of these cameras can see Wait, her. What? What about this one? <laughs> no, it can't. It's on me. No, she's like she's like a ghost. She's just a hand coming in. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's she's fine. This is crazy. I wish I had a mirror. Uh, thanks, Nat. Play the sound effect. Okay, good. All right. Oh, I wonder what best. it is. I wonder what that sound effect is. Uh, cheers. Oh, cheers, dear. To sweet drinks and sweet lovemaking. Hey, let's talk about the fun we done. Well, all the reason we're talking about this these video game memories, guys yeah. and gals, is that we we wanted to hearken back to our youth, mm-hmm. to our childhood. We want an ongoing fun to be done. And so we made our dreams a reality. Yeah. We made video game magic happen. Yeah. How so, Liam? We created we contributed to a mame cabinet. Not not anti mame the Broadway show. No. This is mame it stands for and we should have written this down. I don't really know. Multi Multi arcade multi (laughs) emulator. Emulator. (laughs) Multi Falcon. (laughs) We Falcon? (laughs) Multi's Falcon. Oh Multi's Falcon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was something. It stands for something. And um, <laughs> what does it stand for? Put it in the main, lower third, please, main. or shout it out. Emulator. Wait, multi arcade machine. Multiple, Multiple arcade, arcade machine, machine, machine emulator. emulator is what we said, guys. Of course, we're video game Stop experts. Stop shouting out for the peanut gallery. We're trying to have Jesus, a discussion. Natasha. Well, before we get into it, oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. Where do we we brought we brought a friend. We brought our friend Brittany Wallet Key. Yes. Uh, who you guys, if you guys know about the world of Critical Role and All Work, No Play, she's in our... Uh, she's also... She's in our solar system. She's Great also friend. a talented host of very short form content. Some of her, her shows that I particularly like are uh, Annoying My Husband. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, Prince Prince Faces? Prince Noises? Prince Faces? P-R-I-N-C-E, uh, yeah. not T-S. And uh, th- there's some cat videos. There's combinations of those. Follow her on Twitter. Yeah, she's a delightfully odd duck. Um, and she's a nerd. Mm-hmm. And she's a gamer. Big gamer. And she uh, she said she would come uh, with us to Under the Freeway and check this place out. Uh, we... We we found this guy, Vincent Salazar. Hello, guys. Hi. Oh, welcome to the shop. Uh, Thank overload, you. overload, overload. Hi. How you doing? Vince, Vincent, hi. Vincent, I'm Brittany. Nice to meet nice you, Vincent. Meet you. Hi, I'm hey. Sam. Nice hi. to meet you. Hi. This is Arcade 86. Arcade 86. Correct. This is my place. He's a pretty cool dude. He's a mechanic. Yeah. He's, a, he's an inventor. He's a designer. He's a carpenter. He's an electrician. He's all of these things. Marisha found him for us. And just talking to him about how he got into this. Oh, yeah. It's such a beautiful story. I mean, I, I feel like you and I and, and our gang can relate. Like, he found something that he's loved his entire life. He uh, was in one line of work, and then he had to f- figure out what to do next at, at a certain point in his life. And he, he just found his passion and found a way to make a, a living at it. One day I was in my living room watching my, my kid playing PlayStation games on, on the TV. And I told him it's not the same experience as playing in an arcade machine. And I wanted to share that with him. And I told him, you know, one day I'm going to build you one. So he went to bed, and the next day I started uh, looking for pl- uh, things to, to build a little arcade. So that next day? The next like day, yeah. So I just had that in my mind, and I pretty much built everything by, uh, you know, with a handsaw and a hammer and nails. But in the end, I ended up building the little arcade and, uh, for my kid, and he was very happy. And I took it as a therapy. I started building more and more, you know. The next thing you knew, I already have, like, a 12 of my favorite arcades in my living room. And my wife told me that they're really cute, but you can have this thing right here. Yeah. So I put them online to sell them, you know, not mm-hmm. thinking too much about it. And by my surprise, they, they sold uh, on less than four hours. I saw all wow. of them. And that's when I realized that it was uh, a way for me to be able to, yeah. to make an income and as, uh, at the same time build, uh, doing something that I, I wanted to do. It's a great story. You, you, you had no, like, technical knowledge of how these things worked or any tools or anything when you first made your first machine for your son. Correct. And now you've got all of this. 
his workshop is like uh, a virtual pocket inside of Ready Player One. It exists it under a bridge in Los Angeles, like a little mad genius's workshop under a bridge. It's, in a, it's small. It's crammed with tools and mm-hmm. equipment and wires and old shit. Yeah. The place was just dripping in 80s goop and nostalgia. arcade love, nostalgia, toys from the past. He had um, mock-ups of gremlins, maybe even things that they used in the movie. I don't know. He yeah, had, that thing looked legit. There was a gremlin. There was a spike gremlin. Gremlins 2, I think. The uh, Gremlin flashes yeah, somebody in yeah, that movie. Yeah, so yeah. he just there was just a gremlin with the coat wide open. No genitalia because that's awkward. But Yeah, that would be gross. There was Star Wars stuff hanging from the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Brittany was entranced by, I think there was like an E.T. Yeah. You have an original E.T. Atari cartridge. How the fuck did you get that? Yeah, yeah. Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Vincent had one of the E.T. cartridges from the giant hole dug in the desert that they buried these things in because the game was an utter failure. And not only does he have all this amazing 80s stuff, he has pieces of game consoles. He has guns, original duck hunt guns. Mm -hmm. He has Pong. He has the original Pong. Power glove. He He has a power power glove, glove, which was like covered in dust, like a relic pulled out of the pyramids of Egypt. But I put it on and I felt powerful. Now I'm playing with power. (laughs) (laughs) He had cathode ray tube televisions. He had a talisman pyramid. He had all kinds of stuff. It was amazing. Uh, And he had one of those um, cocktail cabinets that we mentioned earlier, which is just a glass table with Donkey Kong in it. And you just sit down and put your 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 gimlet on it and you play (laughs) Donkey Kong. I think that's how it was uh, designed Mm -hmm. to to cover. (laughs) Get me another gimlet. I'm on the third level of Donkey Kong. (laughs) If you guys want to see what I'm working on right now, we can just go over there and I can show you. Yeah, show us what you do. Show us the artistry in motion. What's this, Vincent? What is this? One of the arcades I'm working on. I go oh, uh, light. I, I, I don't even want to ask. Yeah, what, how like, many games? What's in front of, what's <laughs> what in front of us here? What is in this machine? Yeah. Well, this machine right here uh, holds all the way up to forty thousand games on it. Forty thousand <laughs> games? Yes. Are there forty thousand <laughs> games ever? I think there are more. Oh than that, you know? And they still, you know, continuously. I don't even know what to do with that. So we talked to him about designing us, yeah. our very own gaming console. Mm-hmm. It would be our dream console. All the old school shit that oh. is still rattling around in our head. He can put anything together. It can be one player. It can be two player. It can be four player. It can be he makes cocktail cabinets. He makes like little miniature yeah. arcade games. He makes full on. He can do the full on like Street Fighter multiple button sticks or he can just make them exactly the way they were back in the day, which is far less buttons and, and yes. control. But with this menu of options, yeah. you and me and Brittany had mm-hmm. to make some hard decisions. First first question that we need to figure out probably, I don't know, how many player how many players do we want? That's I think four. Four. Because we four. know that we want to do Gauntlet, Turtles, yeah, X-Men, Turtles all of those and have yeah. the group play together. Yeah. And, and I know I want a scroll ball for sure. Because yeah. I'm gonna play some centipede yeah. on this machine. Oh. <laughs> you gotta have the scroll ball. Okay. What are other options? Are we forgetting anything? Yeah, can we get a gun? Can we just get like one Should of them? We have, a gun? You, can insta- you can install light guns, you can install a, a spinner, mm-hmm. you can install the track. Um, I noticed yeah. some of the machines in here have slots for quarters. Correct. This one does not. Mm-hmm. Is that, a, is that, well, do most people want you, that or not? We should make our money back, so I we should probably so. put yeah. some gold oh, yeah. slots. If you're, right. if you're fronting the money for this, yeah, then you should definitely. Yeah, I want at least 50 right. cents. You'll make a profit <laughs> eventually, <laughs> and we can collaborate on, on the outer aesthetic mm-hmm. of the of the cabinet. Correct. Right. Oh. Yeah. It's our show, Liam. Yeah, it has it to be. I feel like yeah. it should have our faces on it, mm-hmm. just like all over the but place. But like your regular faces? Um. 8-bit faces. Oh, 8-bit faces. Not, I mean, your not. regular faces were horrifying, Ooh. is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. With, with her, we, we went through the options, and she helped us make some decisions, mm-hmm. which was very helpful. Yep. Um, she's very um, detail-oriented, which I felt was very helpful on she's, that day. Yeah, she's, um, she's smart, mm-hmm. whereas we are not as smart. Uh, so it was good to have one smart there mm-hmm. to counterbalance yeah, our two dumbs. For sure. You had, you were, you really wanted. Um, I needed the scroll ball because. What is that? What it's called? Scroll ball, the ball ball. I don't know. It's the, a little ball. As you go like this, like you're doing something naughty <laughs> while you play centipede. 
I was big. I loved Centipede growing up, okay. which was like frenetic and 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 just made. It made like, uh, boy, that's good content right there. What I just did. <laughs> <did. laughs> uh, it's I, it's just near and dear to my heart. Sure. Being a kid, I remember it from the arcade. So mm-hmm. we 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 hung out with him for a few hours. Mm-hmm. He had his marching orders. Um, we knew that Brittany was going to pay for this. Yeah. Uh, he said, come back in a few days, and, and I'll show you what uh, what I got. Yeah, and a few days meant a couple of weeks. Ten days, I yeah. think. Yeah. Ten? Okay, somewhere in the, in the middle. Ooh. Natasha, these are great. That's the second one down. I think we're going to need more. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. They're really good. All right. Really strong, really? Is it? Is it? Is it strong? I can make more. Should I not be drinking this much on our show? No, I'm good if you're good. Okay. Oh, I mean, God. It's, it's kind of the premise. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we we took ten days off. Yeah, we just went to Aruba for ten days. Yeah, and when we came back, we wanted to have four people, so we got one more guest, one more friend to bring along with us. Felicia Dawson. Is that how you pronounce that? D A Y. Felicia Day. Is this where we get meth, guys? This is so much fun. This is multifunctional. Are we proud? Hello, welcome right back, here. you guys. Hi, hi. How are you? How you been? Hey, Very nice good. You, um, we brought. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Felicia. Good to see you. Um, you know, Sam. We brought Felicia yeah. along. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> Hitting your mark like a pro. <laughs> Four-player co-op is important to me for what we're doing here today. So we didn't have enough people the last time. We mm-hmm. added Felicia to the docket, and we're ready to build. She's a Play. nerd. She's a gamer person. Uh-huh. She, she'll fit in. I, I love playing in storage units. Yeah. Oh, well, this is the place. <laughs> she was impressed by the digs, as we all were. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was impressed by Vincent, as yeah. we all were. And when we got to Vincent's workshop, uh, he had mostly created our amazing console. Yeah, the cabinet was up. There was some pretty sharp art on the sides of the console. Yeah, branded artwork mm-hmm. on the side of the console. That that's is me. incredible. Oh, that's Liam. So. I don't I think can't that's believe right. how fast you did you that. That's Marisha. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, this is a, a guy from the 80s. Too, <laughs> how do you hang hair. like that physically with that hand? Uh, he's very Just strong. One arm, yeah. one arm lift. <laughs> yeah. This is so cool. That is incredible. But it wasn't done yet. Mm-hmm. He needed some, some Liam and Sam help to just kind of push it over over the top. Just that sprinkle of magic. <laughs> yeah. So we helped him We helped him build it. Some of us got to um, uh, do specific tasks. Mm-hmm. And there was four of us. So in order to choose who was going to do a specific task, uh, there were some trivia questions. What's the subject matter? Is it uh, geopolitics and the uh, central? Not really. I mean, I, I think America? it's uh, we're going to focus on ourselves on video gaming. Oh, okay. Oh, this time. oh that's yeah, better because right. I'm not good in politics or I don't yeah. want to talk about it right now. <laughs> it's a bummer. Okay, so oh, let's kind of let's just start with Pac-Man. What, uh, Pac-Man. Yes. What was this inspired by to be created? How they uh, come out with the shape uh, based on what? Is it that he's supposed to be uh, a puck? It's close, but not, oh. not really. <laughs> oh, it's an F. Right, that's right. <laughs> okay, I know. Uh, uh, oh, Someone... you got a buzz in. You got a buzz in. Boop, boop. Someone had a Pomeranian that had an accident and fell in some banana juice. And then the, the Pomeranian really loves apples. That's the way, way off. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna buzz in. Boop, boop. Uh, it's a uh, it's a banana cream pie. Okay. And someone took a bite out of it. No. <laughs> uh, boop, How about boop. you? Uh, someone really likes cheese. Those cheese rolls oh. a lot, and uh, and also pizza. And that's just that wop 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 cheese Correct. pizza cheese. Correct. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's it's pretty cheese. Pretty cheese. Yeah. What? It's, a, it's based on pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I waited to the last minute to oh, buzz in. Oh, I drama? wanted to give you guys a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. That makes no oh. sense whatsoever. I was thinking, like, like that's literally... four bullshit answers in a row. <laughs> we all three other contestants struck out, and she knew the answer the whole time. She was amazing. She got to choose the color of the buttons and the layout of the buttons, mm-hmm. of which there are many. Yeah. So let's do let's do rainbow. Let's do red, yellow, Green and blue. Does that work for you? Yeah, great. Okay, I mean, great. It's, uh, it's going to be your cake. Okay. Give me the budget. No, this yeah. is such a pivotal thing to win. Yeah. She's literally dictating the whole <laughs> color palette. Thing. Over thing. one trivia question. I feel like this is really disproportionate and unfair and like. <sighs> and then we got to put them in, screw uh-huh. them in, which I found actually quite difficult. Do you want to do number one? I'll do number one. Okay. Right here. I always like to Wait, go number yeah, one. And yellow? It's yellow. Yellow, yellow oh, is sorry. number one. Yellow's right here. I was wrong. It's right here. Sorry. No, yellow's number plate. two. That makes no, no, no sense. No, no. If you plate. have a number two this that's yellow, plate. you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> How tight are we supposed to be making tight. these? Because I'm doing real tight. 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 The buttons had to go through these holes, and then you had to screw on a bottom part, but there was also sort of plastic movable hinges. And then, yeah. uh, and then we did it all to be attached to the bottom of yeah, those. Yeah, the micro chips or the micro somethings had to be attached, mm -hmm. and I did it totally wrong. Oh wait, these are supposed to oh, go yeah, in the kind hole. Of input. Almost done. Wait, Vincent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you just mess everything these, up? These little nubbins oh, here. Oh no, I are did they everything. Go in, are they supposed to go in the oh, hole? Everything is of course. Wrong. Oh, I messed. We messed everything oh, up. Oh boy. Do you need help? I mean, I couldn't use a longer forearm. Right? I have T-Rex um, arms, so I don't you know. Do? If, yeah, they're really, really? yeah. You, that's really scary. No, for real? Why? You know you could get Alzheimer's. <laughs> Are you if serious? You have, if you have extra short arms, you have a-, a Are you serious I'm right serious now? I'm serious right now. You're pre-diagnosing me with Alzheimer's <laughs> on our show? <laughs> You're the worst guest we've had. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, it's a risk factor. Let uh, me see. No, you're fine. <laughs> could you also, could you hold up your thumb like this? Uh-huh. Wiggle it for me? Oh, yeah. pancreatic cancer. No. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! We really just wanted to get our hands dirty and, and, and at least a little bit be part of assembling it. So like, as you said, we're idiots. He's the one with the knowledge on how to make it, but but he showed us how things worked. <gasps> We oh, put on really buttons. Pretty. After the buttons were on, we did another trivia game. Which famous actor inspired do, do. Mortal Kombat? William H. Macy. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, so I think it's do, like do. an action uh, star. Steven Seagal. In the same vein. Brown. Not uh, as Steven little, Seagal, why would yeah. they even come out of your a mouth? A little cooler than that. Uh, a little cooler than Steven Seagal. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing cooler uh -huh, than Steven uh -huh. Seagal. Van Damme, Van Damme. Yes. What? Uh, yes, uh, yes. It was initially going to be based on the film Universal Soldier, but the game's producers wanted to model it more on blood sports. Which, which is an excellent movie. I love knowing that. Wow. All right. Oh, what, what did she win, guys? I mean, Surprise! <laughs> she was awarded a cowboy hat. <laughs> a delight. Which matched her hair, her yeah. outfit, her cowboy boots. Amazing. Suddenly it was like she planned for it. And she got to choose the trim, the color of the trim that goes around the console. Mm. I'm thinking green, but then what do you guys think? I'm going to look nice. Green it is. Uh, green it is. Right? Yes. Right. Let's do this. The trim gets pushed into the a little groove along the wooden frame of the whole thing. Just like a thong. Just get yeah. it right up in that crack. This was woodwork. Yeah. You were doing woodwork. We took hammer uh, like a mallet just kind of went tap, 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 tap over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it was satisfying. Yes. Just like uh, one chimpanzee likes to go through the fur of another chimpanzee and just make perfect and look for nits and eat them and eat them. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany and I talked about this. There was just something satisfying about <laughs> While you were doing that, yeah. me and uh, F. Day mm -hmm. were, uh, were helping, mm -hmm. and by helping I mean hindering, uh, Vincent as he fixed our work with the buttons and, mm -hmm. and wired them in. Oh my. <laughs> Ghost right yeah, now? we're doing ghosts. And attached some some joysticks, which I get, I think the next trivia quiz uh, was to pick the color of the joysticks. Was to pick the right? color of the joysticks. Here we go. All right, All right. buzzers ready. Before he was named Sonic the Hedgehog, what animal is Sonic gonna be? Fast animals. Fast animals. Bup, bup, bup. Rabbit. Bingo. Oh! Really? Really? That's awesome. There you go. Hey, I won something! Yay! Hey, it's me! Oh my god! It's me! <laughs> I played Donatello in the oh, Teenage Mutant wow. Ninja Turtles. Oh, wow! And now, I, oh, I am him. That is really Do like I have to wear your this face? the rest yes. of the episode? <laughs> yes. When I picked the color of the joysticks, mm -hmm. you guys really picked for me. Yeah, so we yeah. could do all red, all blue, or we could do like red, blue, red, blue. Sometimes, Sam, you don't know what's best for you. I do. <laughs> and I like to take care of you because <laughs> That's what good husbands do. What if red, red, blue, blue? No, nope. Just go all red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all Listen, in color. Listen, you won, so let me tell you what. <laughs> uh, I happened. think that red really pops. I think, so. I think the red pops. Mm -hmm. Let's do. Let's do red all all across the board. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yay! Boy, wow, this is cool. Don't do that. Mm. Just work it. Work it. No? A little bile came up. Yeah. Ew! Ew! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I like that it looks like Donatello was doing it, oh, though. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but you picked the wrong color. I did. So we picked the right color for you. Yes, and it was red. The moment of truth. Oh, this, 
plug in the USB yeah, cord. We're so pretty. Oh, really good. We got to put on the the sort of marquee sign at the top. You and I did to branded Chris and the machine All to celebrate. No it. So we're pretty much done. Uh, we're gonna do some testing. Okay. So if you want, we can choose someone who gets to touch these buttons and use them for, for the, the first, first time. time. Mm. Uh, <laughs> anyone who hasn't won a trivia quiz can com compete in this next in this what? next round. What? Uh, so that'll be Liam. Great. Can you answer? Hundred percent chance of the failure. Following <laughs> question. Yeah. What year oh, was geez. the first arcade game machine released? There are only 2018 possible answers to this. Uh, 1979. Uh, you're in the right decade. 1976. 1977. <laughs> 1978. 1975. Uh, 1971. Yes! Hey! Yeah! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, and for winning the grand prize... Oh, you. It's as small as my breadth of knowledge. <laughs> I got it. You won! I got it. It was, it was a participation trophy. Yeah, you were best. You were... I was last. You were Miss I was Congeniality. There. I was present. Yes. <laughs> and what? But you got the best prize of all, which right. was playing the first game mm -hmm. on our brand new console. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. All right, all right, buddy. Oh, oh, my God, I'm doing it. Oh, my God, I'm doing it. Oh, come on, man. You got this. Go. It's so far away, but I'm so far away. It. Jump, you go. missed it. Yeah. And then we just got to do what we've been dreaming about this whole time, which was just play video we, games. We played through a whole plethora of video games. <gasps> yeah. yes. Right in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scroll ball. We got on my favorite gauntlet with the wizard, the Valkyrie, the warrior, the elf, all four of us at the same time. Welcome. All right. Here we go. Ranger, 100 points. Okay. Thank Thank you. You. Yeah. Here we go. Treasure. I got treasure. Guys, this is our... This is our arcade console. Looks like we made it. Well, Vincent made it. Oh yeah, <laughs> looks like we made it. The thing is, we have unlimited credits now because mm -hmm. we don't have to put in quarters. Yeah. Which, does it take the fun out of it a little or not? Nah. Okay. okay. Nah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to set that challenge for yourself, by all means. I'll just hit one credit. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll ask my mom for more quarters. <laughs> <laughs> She'd give them to you too. Yeah, uh, she would. Um, uh, Gauntlet was fun. What else did we play? We played. We played. Oh, Joust. Joust. We played joust. two player Joust. It's two only player two. Joust. It two only player. does two player. But that that's a game, guys, where two knights ride a couple of ostriches, ostriches with <laughs> jousting lances. Sure. It was the best game when we were kids. It was so cool. Yeah, I remember being amazing at this game. And when we played together, mm. I sucked. Mm. I got killed by literally everybody else. Uh -huh. It was awful. <laughs> oh, you just killed me. But oh. it was a fun game. It was a ton of fun. Yeah. We played that. We played Karate um, Master. Karate Master. I, I remember that from the bowling. I played a lot of video games in a bowling alley mm. in which I did not bowl when I was in grade school. I yeah. got signed up for Bowling League, ignored the bowling game, played video games. Um, Felicia was really good at Karate Master, from what I recall. She yeah. was, uh, did we play a Kung Fu game? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that was a different game called Kung Fu Master. Oh, that's different from Karate Master? It might have been Karate Champ. Karate Champ. Kung Fu Master is a game where your you uh, kick people hero in the face. goes, you kick people in the face and they try to grab <laughs> you and you go up level by level through a pagoda. Yep. I don't know what's the top because I never got there at the bowling alley. Well, we we can we can get there now. Yeah. We, we played Qbert, which is an amazing game. Yeah. Felicia had some interesting ideas about Qbert. It's kind of like an elephant, but in a more compact form, I guess. Hmm, I hadn't thought about him that way. If you got in bed with Qbert, it would be weird. What hole do you use, right? What hole does he use? What well, doesn't he have? You do a... not want to vacuum in your veg. You know what I'm saying? That sounds. You don't want to be the V? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her mind goes places. Yeah. Um, On a similar note, a lot of naughty games in that machine. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So Just the... scrolling through the choices, and every once in a while you go, oh. Yeah, the game one. comes with preloaded with, or the console comes preloaded with like a selection of every arcade game yeah. that there ever was. Yeah, ones you've never heard of. Some arcade games were adult yeah. in themed. There was one, I believe, that you played called... Harem. Harem? Harem. 
I never got very far. A little, I guess. As you do, in, as you don't in life. Right. Pixelated uh, <laughs> naked guy just walked four steps, and then a naked woman shot, shot him, him in the dick. Shot him in the dick, and he died. And I did that about six times in a yeah. row. Made it to the same point. Yeah, I, I think there is a way there. for you and naked girl to experience coitus. Yeah, but you don't know that button combination I don't know yet. The secrets. Yeah, yet. we'll we'll find out. Them. We'll crack it. Um, a B A B up down up down <laughs> lube lube lube. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I've ruined harem for you, you now. Ruined, you've ruined sex for me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, there was also some puzzle games where you can like reveal. S- Tantalizingly right. clad scuba girls or yeah. something or fish mm. women. I don't know what 80s it was. Pinup girls, right? Yeah, um, which uh, is interesting. I don't know if we're going to play those games a lot. I don't think so. I think we'll play. We'll just stick with Frogger, Dig Frogger, and Dig Dug, Spy Hunter. St- <gasps> oh, we didn't play that yet, but we will. No, we will. We yeah. should. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's so many good games on this thing. So, um, so our mission was complete. How great is it that our little podcast from so many years ago is now headlining, titling... An arcade machine. An arcade machine that we own Mm -hmm. that was paid for by Brittany. (laughs) It's amazing. So good of her. I mean, like, why did she do that? She just loves us. Yeah. Um, So we did that. We, We did all that. It was done. Mission complete. Um, Vincent had to fix some of our work, mm. took a couple more days, and then right. he delivered it to us at the studio. Earlier today. We were here for it earlier oh today. Yeah, it's oh, pretty wow. amazing. Oh my gosh, 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 my <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. And it was an emotional moment for you. Yes. <laughs> I was just worried about how it was going to fit through the door. <laughs> yeah, it's a big machine. <laughs> and uh, th- this space is not as relaxed and calm as this spot looks on camera yeah. right now. There's stuff everywhere. There's sets everywhere. There was a thin little passage that we worked it through on a dolly. Uh, but we got it to its home. We got it. We put it in place. Yeah. And oh, fired it up. some games yeah and it was just like being a kid again just yeah. a little liam and a little sam in 1998 just listening to cnc music factory in our cribs oh my gosh <laughs> i know i know and it was great and now we own we have that thing and we can play whenever we want yeah Yep, it'll be the destruction of all work and um, progress here. Yes. Uh, interestingly enough, we we got it up, and then we started working today on the show. Yeah. And good friend uh, Matthew Mercer showed up and just set up shop there for yeah, hours. Yeah, he was out there for a long time. Hours. Playing games I've never heard of. Kid again. Wow. Mm. He he really regressed and became 12-year-old Matt Mercer. Yeah. Just surprisingly very nerdy. He said something guy. about being like a ranked player at some point with, with Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or something? Uh, a Street Fighter, maybe. I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised. What a dork. No, totally. Name drop. Um, we should get a sound effect for him, too, by the way. Matt Mercer's sound effect would just be a hot breeze. <laughs> Not that kind. Okay. What does a hot breeze sound <laughs> Just like? like? A... Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm sorry for my fart sound. <laughs> um, well, we learned a lot today. Is that the show? Are we done? I think so. We talked a lot about arcade I machines. I know. Who knew that we knew so much about dork shit? Uh, everybody. Yeah. All of them. Um, we learned a lot. We learned about each other's favorite games. We learned that Natasha makes a mean... Gimlet. Gimlet. I have nothing to compare it to, but I like it. Um, we learned mm. that... Nope. No, nothing. Nothing. Right. <laughs> there is literally no point to this show. We learned that Felicia Day has a potty mouth. We learned that Brittany is um, a, a better philanth- carpenter than we are. A philanthropist. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
and that's great. Yeah, sometimes we can be simple and nice. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Aw. Aw, uh, a genuine moment. No. Asshole. <laughs> Uh, all right. I guess we'll wrap it up there, guys. <laughs> sure. Stay tuned for next week in our season finale. Where we eat hot peppers, jumping out of an airplane while having sex. <laughs> you heard it here. See you next week. Boom, 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 boom. Sex peppers. <laughs> Sponsored by Red Bull. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. All right, let's go home.